finding a missing term of a geometric sequence, some people would say finding the nth term, but I'm saying to you that the, let this be some specific term that we want, and let's see how this problem unfolds. Uh, I want to remind you I'm not teaching you, how, not teaching you this part. I'm assuming you know this, and all this says here is that the nth term of, an arith of a geometric sequence is the same as the first term. This is the f one is the first term of the sequence times some common ratio to the power of n minus 1. And the problem that we have today offers us some information. It says that the third term, that's what it says. So it's, you can read it a sub 3, but it means the third term. It says that the third term is equal to 5. And the, what did they give us? The sixth term, the sixth term is equal to negative 40. So all I'm going to do is just start working through this. I'm going to, um, when a lot of times when you, if you do arithmetic sequences and you try to solve for a missing term, you'll use some elimination method. In this one, we're going to use some substitution. So let's see how this unfolds. Uh, the first thing I'm going to remind myself is this, that, that the third term is equal to the first term times that common ratio right to the 3, right to the 3, right to the 3. 3 minus 1 power, right? And that's all I'm trying to get out of that. And it says here, now I can know that the third term is equal to the first term times, this is multiplication, times r squared, okay? If you don't mind, I'm just going to keep simplifying this out a little bit as I go. And I'm going to remind you and me, the reason that I just called this third term is because I wanted you to know where I got this 3, and this 3 came from here, but I also know that the third term is 5, so, so the third term is 5. And the fifth, and this is not the fifth term, but five is equal to the first term times the common ratio squared, right? And if you don't mind, I'm just going to name this thing. I'm going to call this the first equation, and you'll see why in just a second. Then I'm going to start working on this second piece of information. And the second piece of information that we know is that the sixth term, right? The sixth term is equal to the first term times the common ratio Six term to the six minus one power. Just trying to give you a model for how you'd actually do this. And then, if you don't mind, I'll simplify this a little bit. Six minus one is five. Six minus one is five. So far, so good. Okay. And then also, we know that this six term. It says right here, the six term is negative forty. So if you don't mind, the six term is negative forty. So I'll put that negative forty in there. So far, so good. Now here's the substitution part. I'm going to call this the second equation. It doesn't matter which is first. It doesn't matter which is second. It doesn't matter which way you do this. But what you're going to do with one of them is, take this note, please, solve for the first term. Now, that's not going to be real pretty because look at this. right? What we're going to, what, how would we do that is we would divide both sides right, by r squared. Right? r squared over r squared is 1, and 1 times the first ter term is a sub 1. And then 5 over r squared, well, sorry, it's 5 over r squared, isn't it? So there's that. Now what we're going to do with that is this. See this a sub 1 right here? I'm looking at this a sub 1 right here and saying I'm going to substitute this piece right here in for that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do negative 40 is equal to, this is really going to work out well in a second. It looks terrible for a second, but then it works out really well, so stay with me, is 5 over r squared, all right, times r to the fifth. I'm just re rewriting this. So here, this multiplication sign is this one. This r to the fifth is this r to the fifth. If it looks like I elevate a little bit. It is because I want you to see how I'm doing this. All I'm going to do is multiply these two pieces together. I'm going to rationalize this so you can see why I did what I did. But look at this. This gets really clean really, really fast. So this negative 40 is this one. So there's our negative 40. 5 times r to the fifth is, well, 5r to the fifth, isn't it? r squared times 1 is r squared. r squared. Now look at this problem over This goes right back to Algebra 2. And look, r to the fifth over r squared is equal to, right, same basis. And we subtract 5 minus 2 is r cubed. 
So look at this now. So when we simplify this, when we simplify this out, we'll get this. Negative 40 is equal to 5r to the third. Just going to press through with the algebra. Divide both sides by 5. Divide it by 5. Check me out here. This is, we're really getting there. This is negative 8 equals r cubed. Right? We don't want r cubed. We just want r. So what are we going to do here? We're going to do this. We're going to take this, the third root here and the third root here, aren't we? And we now find out that r is equal to what? r, the third root of negative 8 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. So it's negative 2. So there's that answer. So you might say to me, well, what do I get out of all this? Well, let's go back. We, we've gathered some pieces up. And check this out for a second. This is all going to really pay off for us in a second. In just a second, I'm going to make sure I don't go too far. In just a second, I'm going to go back to this, that the nth term Right? This is the very top of the screen. It's exactly the same thing. Is is a sub one? Right? Check me out. Is a sub one times r right to the n minus one? Let me reinforce the fact that this n is this n. Okay. But look at the stuff that we know. We, in the first place, we know that r is negative 2. So r is negative 2. r is negative 2. So now we have the first term times negative 2 to the power of n to the power of n minus 1. And the question is, well, my, how would I know what a sub 1 is? Ready? r is negative 2, right? Follow the dotted line. r is negative 2. See it? And it says clearly here that a sub 1, that a sub 1 is equal to 5 over r squared. Well, r squared is, r is negative 2. So here's our negative 2. It says right here that we're supposed to square it, so we'll square it. So a sub 1, right? A sub 1 is equal to 5 fourths. A sub 1. A sub 1. Right? So all I'm going to do here now, we're done. Done. We're absolutely finished. Now you can answer any question you want. Because you tell me what term you want, I'll tell you what it is. If you want to know the ninth term, then we'd put in a, a, to the, we'd put in a sub 9, which would mean the ninth term. We'd put the 9 in here. We'd have no we'd have no variables left and we'd get a numeric solution, wouldn't we? Okay, I hope this was helpful. I actually sorry, but I, I love this stuff. It's really cool. It's really cool math. So okay, hope it was hope it was good.